Hi guys, welcome back to Tevra Bell FM. I am Ed, and today is a bit of a twist on a pretty common video at the moment. So the FM19 beat about two weeks from release, I thought it'd be a good time to think about what other saves other people might be doing and flip it on its head. Obviously this video is a little bit tongue in cheek, people are going to manage they manage and I've got no problem with that, but I'm here to try and give you some alternatives. Without further ado, let's crack into it. Premier League. Wolves are bound to be a popular team to manage on this year's Football Manager. Full of decent Portuguese internationals including Ruben Neves, Wolves are sure to push the top 7 in Football Manager 2019 for a European spot. I'd say a top half finish is the very least you'll need. Unfortunately, I do believe that a lot of people will be playing as Wolves, so if you're worried about playing the same save as someone else, then this might not be for you. For a bit of a change, you could go for Southampton. Obviously more established in the Premier League, but more likely to be relegation fodder than Wolves. They haven't used their famed Youth Academy for a number of years, and the fans currently aren't overly happy with Mark Hughes. Can you do a better job in bringing attacking football back to St Mary's as well as using the youth facilities that you have, great training facilities and try and push up the league and into Europe? All the building blocks are in place for the Saints, so can you unlock it with the decent tactics you'll need? Championship Leeds United have started like a house on fire in the Championship, currently joint top on goal difference at the time of recording. However, I feel like a lot more joy could be had by watching Leeds under Bielsa in Football Manager 2019 to see if his tactics will really rip up the league or if they're just more suited to real life. It'll be a good test of the match engine, so I'm wondering if people do really want to get in and meddle with Leeds or if you want to try and create your own Bielsa tactic elsewhere. And why not try it down Portman Road? Ipswich Town have been stuck in a championship for a number of years now, I believe it's around 15 or so without checking. After a few years of McCarthy ball, can you transfer your Bielsa style tactics to Ipswich Town, push them up the league, get them back to the Premier League where they belong, and then possibly into Europe in the long term? West Ham Hall of Famer Freddie Sears is there, who I only know for hitting a post one time, but apparently he was good, according to the Irons fans. League One. Nothing against fallen giant saves, but Sunderland is sure to be a popular decision in Football Manager 2019. They should have the resources to compete at the top of League One and push for maybe back-to-back -back promotions without any trouble at all, which I find to be relatively boring in the grand scheme of things. Plus, I'm a Newcastle fan, so that probably plays a little part in my decision. Instead of a fallen giant, how about a rising minnow? Accrington Stanley were promoted from League 2 last season with the smallest budget in the league, and if you believe the hype, their wage bill is a third of the next lowest spending team. Can you keep Accrington away from relegation, try and push up League 1 over the next few seasons, and really develop them into a force to be reckoned with? Make your own fallen giant, but just don't fall in the first place. League 2 Franchise club MK Dons have fallen into League 2 for Football Manager 2019, so it might be a popular one to try out, uh, simply because they will probably want to retake their position above Wimbledon. However, I don't think many people would sell their souls, but seeing as they're the biggest team in League 2, I thought that would be an easy one to choose, to be honest. A team I don't see get much love in the Football Manager community is Yeovil Town. Back-to-back -to -back relegations a few seasons ago took them from the Championship into League 2 and they've been battling at the bottom for a few years. Not only do they play in green, which is a superb colour, can you make them into the top team in the South West, which probably isn't too difficult. I can't really think of many teams off the top of my head. They may draw a small crowd, but can you give the boys and their tractors something to cheer for? Vanarama National. The Conference. Salford City, like many before them, are accused of buying their way up the non-league structure and soon into the league structure itself. Bankrolled by a number of the class of 92 players such as Ryan Giggs, the Neville brothers and Paul Scholes, they're sure to be at the top of the table or near the top of it by the time the season comes to an end. But maybe with a rival you could stop them going up automatically. A team that have been in the National League for far too long now. Wrexham are surely worth a bit of a go on Football Manager 2019. One of a few Welsh teams to be within the top five or six divisions of the English football pyramid. Wrexham are historically a fairly big name, so can you help restore them to their league standings and maybe then try and look to overtake the likes of Swansea and Cardiff in the long term, but first up will be Newport County, who should be too hard to beat. League A. If you're chasing quick success and trophies on FN19, then PSG are for you. Obviously, they're going to have a ton of money. They've got Mbappe, Neymar, as well as a host of other young and excellent talent. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm including Cavani in that personally, but they're sure to steamroll League 1, and then you should probably be pushing for the Champions League in the first season, if not soon after. 
Personally, I'm not a big fan of starting with a club that is sure to dominate from the off, so maybe you could try and earn it instead. Dijon have been a bit of a yo-yo club in the French leagues for a few years, last season finishing 11th in Liga. Their biggest transfer is 2 million euros, so quite a contrast to PSG. Let's see if you can cut the mustard with a mid-table team. You can start to push up the league in a fairly competitive division. Uh, European qualification could be secured fairly easily as well as relegation and their team includes FM Hall of Famer Wesley Saeed. What more do you need? That rhymed. Did I Liga? I've only seen one guy stupid enough to take on this save so far on the FM community and I love him for it. Kaiser Slauten in the Bundesliga or the third division basically. Massive fallen giant uh, similar to your Sunderland and other such saves. Kaiser Slauten have a ridiculously large stadium and are sure to have finances to be able to push them up the divisions very quickly so I don't think it'd be too much of a challenge to see them back in the Bundesliga within two seasons. So if you fancy a bit more of a challenge why not go for someone who's never played in the Bundesliga before. Like I said Osnabrück have never played in the Bundesliga. They also play in a lovely purple strip which will suit the new user interface, which I'm not a massive fan of, but purple is a great colour and Osnabrück's a nice name to say. As I said, you can make your own success and write history for them. What's not to like? Serie A. Back into the oversaturation market, Palmer have just gone back up to Serie A at the first time of asking after three or four straight promotions, I believe it's three. Obviously Dr. Benji FM had an excellent series with them a few years ago, but there's sure to be a lot of people playing as Palmer. So maybe try your luck as a different team who don't get a huge amount of love in the FM community. Bologna are probably expected to finish in and around Palmer in the table, probably hoping to avoid relegation, pushing to a mid-table finish. They're actually a founder member of Serie A, but it's been over 50 years since they last won the league. They've got a superb kit, a superb name, and why not give me your love instead of Palmer? Give it a go, or Torino, anyone like that. Bologna's where it's at. Scottish Premier League. Celtic very much in the PSG boat. You should have enough in the tank to dominate the league, even with Steven Gerrard appearing at Rangers. Uh, so all you have to do is focus on qualifying for the Champions League and sticking out in the group stages for a couple of seasons. I don't know about you, but that sounds incredibly boring to me, and that's literally the only reason I've written boring. Why not give Killy a go? One of the few teams to appear in the semi-finals of the European Cup, UEFA Cup, and the Cup Winners' Cup, which I hope it actually be brought back, but have had limited domestic success. What you'll find if you go to Killy is that Chris Boyd is still playing, and as mentioned on the One More Game podcast, it could be quite interesting to try and build your team around him and see if he can still bang in the goals. Fighting for Europe would be quite competitive, so it'd only be a couple of seasons before some domestic dominance could be assured. If you're good enough. Eastern Counties League? Hashtag United are sure to be done to death within not only the FM community, but the content creation community as well. Not that there's a problem with that, people are entitled to do whatever saves they want. Obviously you'll need to wait until there is a fix to make the lower leagues playable, but there are some folk in the non-league who are pretty annoyed at Hashtag United, and some that have no idea about their journey as well. So if you're one of those people, maybe you want to stick it to them in a different way. Hashtag that, Spencer. I've actually got no idea if that's the hashtag, I just assume that's what they would do. I'll look it up now. I wasn't far off. Why not head on over to Tier 7, the Isthmian South, with FC Romania, just promoted from the Essex Senior League. They've got a nice backstory with Romanian immigrants making the club in Essex after trying to find a home. And based on my brief previous experience within the Essex Senior League, you'll find SC Romania are full of Romanian new gens from the start and are likely to get Romanian new gens through straight away, where you can propel not only your club team to success, but also Romania relatively quickly in the grand scheme of things whilst using the money that you'll make in the Premier League if you can get there. So like I said guys, just 10 alternatives to saves that you might see in and around the community. It's all a bit tongue in cheek. Obviously, I'm gonna love whoever you choose. I don't mind at all. But let me know if it's given you any food for thought below and please be sure to like and subscribe for my upcoming series on Football Manager 19 and let me know who you're gonna manage. Thanks for watching, cheers.